Hello everyone, it is Colette from TumblePop.com. I just wanted to tell you guys that while doing these unboxing videos and watching the last few, I actually came to the realization that I was saying the exact same thing at the beginning of every video. Hey guys, it's Colette from TumblePop.com. How are you? We're going to do another unboxing. This is not good. I did not realize that I sounded like an automated robot. I am not an automated robot. I am a person. I swear to God, I am real. Real person. So, anyway, today I will not say, hey guys, I will say, what's up, and tell you something different. Although I do have the same thing to do, basically, which is unbox something. So, there is that small thing. But, anyway, today's box was almost a surprise, because what I got, I was not expecting. As you can see, this says, baby vampires, vamplets on it. How interesting. What could be inside this box? Well, I opened it, and on the very top, before the wrapping, I got to this note. This cute note. And mind you, it's got a little, like, button on it. <laughs> the button says, Sweet as a thorn, since the day she was unborn. I like that. I like that there's, like, a whole market for, like, cutie goth stuff now. Like, when I was goth, there, that didn't exist, so. I kind of feel like I missed out. Anyway, I will read you the letter so you understand what we're about to get into. Condolences on the delivery of your baby vampires, Vamplets. We are sorry you have chosen to be the unfortunate guardian to one or more of our little bundles of misery. Wait a minute. Chosen? I didn't choose anything. This box just showed up here. It's like a basket with a baby in it, but it has multiple babies in it. I don't know how I feel about that. We sympathize with your burden, but take no responsibility for your decision or the outcome of such an action. It is therefore our solemn duty to alert you to the possible dreadful result of bringing a vamplet into your home. We suggest you keep on hand at all times a bottle of blood, a sturdy cage or chains, and an escape-proof coffin for your baby vampire. Well, thanks guys, I guess. I mean, what, um, I don't even know where this came from. I'm like, looking around my room, trying to figure out, like, was this in the office? What? Did I ask for this? I don't even... Uh, okay, well, I... I think I have vampires. I think that's what's happened. So that's cool, I guess. Um, anyway, so yeah, the box. Let's let's get in the box. Okay. Stuff. What have I got here? I mean, is this supposed to hurt me? This is not gonna hurt me. This is too cute to hurt me. I don't believe that. I just, I don't believe it. Let's take it out. It does not have the new toy smell. That's probably because it's not made of plastic, but it is really, really cute. Okay, the little label says Cataversion Nightshade, which may be the little devil's name. Yes, it is. Inventor, dreamer, tiny dark schemer, building all night to create a big fright. I vow, to lo I vow to love my vamplet with all my heart. I vow to be a patient parent. I will always remember how special my vamplet is to me, no matter how rotten or inherently evil my baby is. This is not going to be evil. Okay. So anyway, let's, let's look at this. This is obviously the boy. Um, he's got a cute little diaper on, which you can see here, which has got like a tiny little skull on it and a little bow. Bow. Um, oh, wait, and a tiny little pin. How cute is that? That's awesome. Um, so anyway, on each side, in fact. Um, little arms. There's a little thing here that says bad. I think it's his wrist bracelet. I guess when he escaped from the hospital. There's a very, very, very faint black eye like circle around each side. It's a little darker on the right. I think that's kind of cool actually. It's not, it's super like low key on his little face. And then of course, here we have, you know, a spider on the head. So, um, it looks as if, to me, it would actually sit up, yeah, so like if you put him on a shelf, he would actually sit up by himself this way. Um, and he has a great big head, which is squishy and lovable and kind of want to hug it. So, anyway, but that's not the only thing in the box. There's also the girl. Here she is in her wrapping. The girl's name is apparently Evelyn Nocturna, and... She is exactly the same size as he is, but she has a polka dotted diaper, which is pretty darn cute. 
the little arms. Her arm tag also says bad, and I'm noticing that her little eye shades are pink instead of black, and she has two little cute bows on the top of her head. Oh, and this is not all. There's more in the box, actually, that I didn't even notice. Disappearing bottle of blood. Okay, according to this, there's six different vamplets I'm now learning. And it seems as if, if you want to feed them or you don't want them to eat things around your house, such as the cats, that you can use the disappearing bottle of blood, which, wow, that went fast. Where does it go? I mean, it just seems like it's more blood than should be hidden in the actual Tasty. Anyway, um, so yeah, pretty cool. And um, these little guys are actually, according to my little letter here, they are actually on sale at uh, vamplets.com and each one has its own little nursery animation. <laughs> and uh, we will give you some more information as always um, about these guys. So if you are interested in checking them out, you can do so. Um, and don't forget there are more there. I would tell you how much they are, but as usual, I was a poor researcher and I certainly did not bother to go look up how much they were because all I really think about when I get on camera is opening a really cool box. And that's what I did, so I hope you'll forgive me. Okay, so anyway, go visit the Vamblets. They would like very much to see you over at Vamblets.com and thank you for reading Tumble Pop. and I'm sorry if I say the same things in every video. Bye!